Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa. I'm like fighting the sun here, so uh, trying to, to not get washed out by the sun. But anyway, um, at least it is, the sun is shining today, which is nice. I'm here with a video to show you how to put together a sale section in your Etsy shop if you want to have a clearance sale or just mark some items down. Now, this is something that's a little bit of an experiment for me. I've never actually held a clearance sale before. This is something new that I'm trying this year. I have before um, put some items on sale. I tried out the app that's called, I think it's called Etsy on Sale. Um, and it's it's something you have to pay for, but when you sign up, I think you get so many free uh, credits to put items on sale, so I figured I would just try it out and uh, see how it worked. This was a few years ago. I didn't have as many items in my Etsy store, and I wasn't doing quite the same volume of sales that I am doing now. And um, so I just tried this out, tried to do a sale, and I don't think I sold a single thing uh, that I put on sale. So I haven't done a sale since then. But now it's January. I have some items in my inventory that I'm looking to clear out. So I decided to mark them down to 50% off and have a clearance sale and just see how it goes. This is really a final clearance for these items. If they don't sell, uh, they're getting packed up and donated back to a thrift store or whatever. So I'll show you the steps that I took to create a sale on Etsy. And um, I will... At this point, I've sold a single item from the clearance section. I've had it going for about a week now, even though this video, I'll show you how I set it up, but uh, it's taken me a while to make this video. But anyway, um, so I've had it going for about a week, sold a single item from it. And what I'm going to do is, you know, leave these items in the clearance section until they expire, and um, we'll see if they sell. Uh, if they don't sell, uh, they're going to get donated, and I'll probably, you know, at some point... Uh, and the clearance sale. But anyway, um, so this is how to set up the sale. Okay, so we're gonna go into Etsy and we're actually gonna go into our uh, shop sections. Now you're allowed to have 10 shop sections on Etsy and I normally use all 10. Um, so what I did was I have a section for holiday items. Um, well, first of all, we're gonna go to listings manager here. And if we scroll down here on the side, it says sections all and over here it says manage. Um, so if we hit manage, um, we can see all the different shop sections I have. I'm using 10 of my 10 sections. Now what I did, um, my holiday items, I had about 35 items in this category, in this section. And so what I did was I moved them to various other sections depending on where they best fit. And I'm going to turn this into my clearance section. Um, so I'm just going to click the edit here. Um, I'm going to use all caps for this, I think, so it really stands out. And save changes. So now that section of my store is called clearance. Um, now that doesn't change anything about the listings that are in this section. Um, so what I'm going to do is here, I'll bring up that, well, it still says holiday items, but um, it's clearance now. Um, okay, so there's, as you can see, there's five items here. These are all items that I've had a while, so I'm going to be putting these on clearance. And what I have to do is manually go in and change. I'm going to change the price, and I'm going to change the title to reflect the fact that it's on clearance. So we're going to click this. We're going to click edit. This is going to bring up the item sale and 50% off vintage Christmas theme blah 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 okay um, it was ten dollars um, so now we're gonna put five and so um, I'm gonna put at the top of this listing if we come down here I'm gonna use my caps lock and I'm gonna say uh, was ten dollars now five dollars um, and so hopefully that stands out and um, people looking will see that maybe it'll inspire them to buy the shipping price is still gonna actually be kinda high but I can't really reduce that because then I'll be losing money um, so I'll hit publish on this and then I'm gonna go through um, with the other listings that are in this section plus what I'm gonna do is move other items uh, from other sections of my shop to this section um, to mark them as clearance. Now once I've added a bunch of items to my clearance section, I also want to let 
people just visiting the store know about it, obviously they could see that as one of the categories. Um, they'll see the different listings, but I'm also going to add it to my shop announcement. Um, so I'll do that by clicking here, um, going to shop settings, info and appearance, and um, down here is the shop announcement. And um, I'm just going to put a note that um, I have a clearance sale going on now and um, let people know about it. And of course, I'll also be promoting it elsewhere. Um, I'll promote it on Facebook and, and Twitter for, for whatever that's worth. Um, and we will see how it goes. Uh, this is an experiment for me. I would like to move out some stuff that I've had a while and it's really time to say goodbye to. Okay guys, I hope this helps if you were interested in uh, how to go about, you know, creating a clearance section on Etsy and, and having your own sale. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, like I said, this is an experiment. I will maybe report back to you with the results of, uh, of this experiment and see if I sell more than a single item, which would be nice. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I put out new videos um, on a regular basis. I put out videos every Friday showing the different vintage items I've sold in my Etsy shop, Planet Alyssa. And then I do get some other videos out on selling and, uh, and shopping. I have some haul videos too. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again soon. Happy selling, everyone.